Oh, hey there. So, um, do you remember that bolt that literally fell out of the transmission cross member under here? Well, I do, and it's time to get that thing sorted out because this weekend's plan is to get the engine back sitting inside of this thing, and we don't want it falling out the bottom. Well, I thought I'd check in with you here. So um, it took me a little doing, and I ran out of batteries in the cameras about halfway through, but it was going a little slow there. So problem number one is it seems like this arm on my hoist here needs to be about two feet longer to really get it over the, the frame without the cylinder and stuff running into the front cross member here. So I kept hitting up against this before I could get my arm far enough back to set the, the engine down in there. But it is down in there now. Um, it's not in tight. And uh, if we spin around here, there is an issue with that cross member. Either I put it on in the wrong set of holes and it needs to go way back or something because you can see that here's my mounting Pushing. that's supposed to be screwed down to this plate right here so I'll, be, I'll measure it but that may be that distance right there maybe this distance right here and maybe in fact this thing is supposed to be back one set of holes in the frame uh, I goobered up some of my paint as I got this thing in here which I guess is to be expected so I'll grab my blue throw a little cardboard down so I don't get it on the black 
and touch up the paint a little bit. But then I'm going to put the valve covers on, get that intake manifold on there, and then get the tub back down to where it's supposed to go. I think I'll put these brake lines on too while I've got it out here. It'll be easy to work on. Now, let me spin you around here. There's my uh, OSHA approved Jeep tub holding up unit there. So it's really just resting on the ladder. But I do not have that twin stick arrangement in there. So let me tell you what happened with that. I called the guys that made that, John and uh, of JNR, the John of John and R, whatever. Anyway, got a hold of him and he said, well, you what you probably want to do is get the thing in your Jeep, figure out where you want the levers to be, and then either lengthen that pipe and or have it, you know, rebuilt that, that shaft. So it made sense. He said, if you really do want the little short connectors, let me know. But he says it kind of sounds like you maybe you're going to be too far back anyway with those levers once you get them on there. So he said, you know, we'll certainly take care of you. But he said, I would recommend you get your tub set where you want it, figure out where you want those levers and adjust accordingly. So that's what I'm going to do. So anyway, um, there you have it. It's in there. Starter is not in. I was going to put that in, but I think I can get to that okay. And um, then I'll put my headers on, which I think I mentioned are the ones that go outside of the frame, I think, which is not really what I thought I was ordering, but I did, so whatever. But anyway, let's put some more of those brand new shiny parts on this thing, shall we? Well, apologies, dead batteries left me no filming of putting all this stuff on. But um, And the intake manifold's just sitting there right now. I'm waiting to get some new bolts to bolt it down. And I've only got the one side header on because I want to get that starter in, but this is where I'm leaving it for tonight.
All right, well, I just thought I'd give us a quick wrap up as we put a wrapper on this weekend. So, got a fair amount of stuff done. Um, let's spin you around and I'll show you quickly. So, you saw me get the headers on. Those are now on both sides. Spark plugs are in and torqued down to 27 pounds or whatever the internet told me to do them to. Valve covers are on. Intake manifold is on. Uh, you saw me cover up the mechanical fuel pump opening over on the other side there a little bit ago and I didn't show you but I did put that seal around so that the vibration dampener can go back in on the front. I got the starter put in and um, again I've got my little issue with the mounting plate or the uh, cross member for the transmission transfer case I got to work on. I still have the Jeep just tipped back up on a 2x4 here so that's safe. Um, but here's the deal. It's um, sun is starting to go down if I look outside and um, It's officially Halloween tonight now. I'll just tell you, you know, I live in Utah Which is a state that has how should we say it a, um, a dominant religion and around which everything has to work so I guess that they don't really like their kids going around celebrating death and all that stuff on a Sunday. So last night I had kids coming up to the house by the droves and however now that it's the official Halloween night I kept some candy back and I can already start to hear a few little activity of little kids out on the street so I think I'm gonna get attacked again. So I need to go move the truck over to the other side of the driveway so they don't have to try to get around that thing but I think this is where we're gonna leave this for the weekend so I do feel like I got a fair amount of stuff done um, some of it went quicker than expected some of it took a little doing um, but yeah no real issues so it is starting to look more and more like a motor every time we turn around now since I did get these outside of the frame headers basically what I have is my distance about from here to here is all we got for a muffler and what most guys do in this scenario is they put just basically a cherry bomb on there and then point it out to the side so we'll see how we'll do that uh, I might just do that but um, for now I'm gonna go ahead and put this one in the can so uh, next time around I will be finishing up on the engine I'm gonna get the tub back in place I mentioned I'm gonna get those brake lines in over there then I'm gonna put the tub back in place and then start to figure out my twin stick arrangement thing. I can then finish up the front of the engine and then I'll get the fenders up here and we'll figure out if some cutting has to happen. I think it will, but maybe not because this might be where the fender kind of comes down. So we'll see how these fit. I think in most cases they do take a little chopping of the fenders. So there you have it. Um, that's where we're going to leave it. As always, uh, thanks for watching and don't go anywhere because now we're getting really to the fun parts of this thing. So soon, it won't be that long, we'll be starting to put some oil inside of here and starting to hook up some electrical stuff. And then uh, down the road a ways, we'll fire this thing up. So um, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time around.